Welcome back, guys, to another episode of What You Take, the show where we talk about just about anything we can possibly think of and bring you guys along for our unfiltered, unapologetic opinions. As always, you're going to have myself here, Steve, my brother, Chris. Hi, guys. Have you been sharing the show? Because, you know, sharing the show is important. Let's not lose sight of that in the long run. Sharing the show is great. Sharing the show is good. Not everybody does, but everybody should. Just like sex. Wow. Just, just, wow. Yeah. Sexy Spence! Keep procreating for democracy. For democracy. 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 Guys, today we have another trailer that we're going to take a look at here for you and give you guys our takes on it. But before we get into that, Chris is going to talk to you about our sponsor. Hey guys, it's me again. I see. You always come back. Anyway, let's talk about Dubby. Dubby has graciously decided to sponsor us Band of Jackasses. Discussing what we like to discuss. And Dubby's also going to help bring you along for the ride. So, let's talk about it. Dubby is an energy drink. It's nice. It's not carbonated. Won't upset your stomach that much. It's more like a crystal light type substance. It flavors water that you add to it. It's a little bit chalky, kind of like a protein powder. Recommend you get one of these doohickuses. Yeah, you all know this one. You do it with your iced coffee every morning. I know it. So... Like I said, tastes great. It's good, clean energy. It, it will gently raise you up into a state of awareness, and then it will slowly taper you back down. There's no hard crashes. There's no awful just gut rot. I don't know. You get that sometimes, too, when you have too much monster or something like that, where you're just stomach twist. some sort of unaffiliated uh, no, energy those, drink? No, those motherfuckers <laughs> over at Monster. Those dirty swine. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a cease and desist oh, real, real quick here. But anyway, um, if you like good, clean energy, it's great for gaming, podcasting, long nights of studying. Check out Dubby's website and use our promo code, What You Take 10, to get 10% off your order. Fantastic. That's Dubby, guys. With that being said, we're going to go ahead, gentlemen, divert your attention over to the screen, and we're going to take a look at the trailer that we got today. Your trailer. Your eyes can deceive you. Can we discuss the we epicness that is a them. Asian Jedi master? Dude, there's a certain level of like... I mean, if you really think about it, <laughs> I mean, the Jedi's whole deal is pretty much space Buddhism. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but with like <laughs> space swords. I'm okay with that. Balance. I see fire. He's not even closing his eyes. Can he? Is that Trinity? Yeah. God damn it, dude. She's just in another level of the Matrix at this point. Oh, yeah. No, this is Space Matrix. If someone is killing Jedi, it doesn't make sense. I want to see Neo whip out out of nowhere. I want to see that Wookiee hold a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> there were a few of them. I know. Damn. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it? What is that? Dude. <laughs> I want all of this. Like, when all of it. Is this Old Republic? This is Old Republic. Yes! This is yes! The, this is like yes! the... Yes! This is like the Shut the fuck up! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is like the first time that they've seen a Sith. That's what they, that that whole like what is this that she was oh, talking yeah, about? They were the, like legends for a oh, while. Oh wait, is this like, is this New Republic after Ray? This is, this is High Republic. So this is after this, Ray. No, this is before the prequels. Okay, this is before the prequels. This is okay. way before. This well, is, the thing is, is it could be way after or way before because no, they is, destroyed the Sith. I nope. guess technically, yeah, but no, no, this is okay. Pre, this, this is pre. Old Republic, High Republic. Good. No Sith have become a thing yet at this Good. point. This is like their version of the Romans. Good. 
This is like I oh, will you say, just start doing Palpatine quotes. It's good. good. It, it's really strike them in your hate. It's really nice to see somebody rotted around with a straight up shank. I was, I was actually thinking that too. Like this bitch just got a knife. She's like, gonna cut somebody. Holy like, fuck! Like, like and, I don't know. Just the presence of the steel blade. Yeah. Really. Uh, I don't know. It. It. It provides a more like serious tone, I guess, than like. Uh, you know what I mean? Right. Like this bitch out for blood. Yeah. She, yeah. She's gonna. Yeah. We might see blood. What's no. really interesting, like, so the first thing on a comical note, the first thing that came into my head when they said, what is that? And they saw the red lightsaber. Your death. No, I, I instantly heard Venom in my head. Like, oh, shit, it's a red one. Oh, shit, it's a red one. <laughs> this is like well, son of a bitch. Here's the thing though is if this is the old republic though and it depends on when it is during the old republic but the, the if I'm not mistaken if if this is before Bane pulled off the thought bomb then what we might see are larger Jedi Sith battles coming. Because I don't think it's going to go that route. You don't think it's that far back? Not in no, I don't think this it's that, series. Yeah. This, I think, is going to be the testing waters to see if people are interested in something that Which is... Which they're going to fucking oh, absolutely. Be. We've been saying that for years. Absolutely. This is going to be the test experiment to see if people have the capability of disconnecting from the Skywalkers and everything that has already been made. Mm. I think that if this is successful, which I think it will be, that then you could start to go into things like the Grand Republic, or not the Grand Republic, but more like Old Republic, look like we're used to with Bane and more of those large scale Jedi Sith battles. I think this is, yeah, like I think we're, I think this is like after the, after the thought bomb. Yeah. Because to me, I think they don't even know what Sith are. Like they're like a legend at this point. Yeah. That would make sense then. Yeah. 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 So then it might be a few generations removed from Bane then. Right. So that's my guess is like, they think the Sith are destroyed. But then they come back. Hey guys, we won. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, bitch. Like What's this it? bitch gonna shank you. But see, here's the I, interesting thing. I always kind of wonder. Hold on, real quick, because like, the interesting thing with that is the 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 shock in the the idea of a red lightsaber hints that they've maybe never seen right a corrupted crystal. That's what I'm saying. So this may be Sith Generation One, right after Bane, like with his apprentice. Because nah, maybe I always wondered what the Jedi perspective on that was. Like, did they just think the Sith went away one day, or like, did they feel a mass disturbance in the Force when they he did probably that? felt it, dude? I mean, I mean, I guess yeah. Yoda felt a bunch of shit too. So yeah, he felt like the whole like some shady's going on with Anakin, and that's with Palpatine freaking right there. Him. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So like, Actually, okay, can we address that real quick? How, how, did, how not... did he not sense the fuckery that was going on? Was Palpatine just that powerful? He was that powerful. That's disturbing. He couldn't mask it? Yeah, that's what he was doing. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Like, there's a theory out there. And I, I had I don't to know hide my like... aura? Yeah, literally, that's what he did. Like, um, no, there's a whole hey guys, theory out there that... You know what that was? You know what that was? You know what that was? Eagle sweat. Eagle sweat. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So let's let's just go round table here real quick. We'll wrap this up. Thoughts on it. Are you excited? Are you not? What are your worries? Oh, I'm Spence, super go jacked first. for this immediately. Oh my god. Like this is the kind of like if if this trailer is any indication of the type of move or like show this is gonna be, this is exactly what like a lot of Star Wars fans are wanting. Absolutely. I totally like, agree. Totally Finally agree. they're like listening to fans, personally. Chris? We're sick of the so- Scott. We're sick of the Skywalker saga. We are. Yes. Yeah. The like, Skywalkers it's, it's need been to be nine done. goddamn movies. Yeah. Like, and the last three have been done. Whatever. Kinda, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Chris, what's your take? So, I think this will be interesting. And again, uh, I'm a Star Wars nerd. We have a friend who's a huge Star Wars nerd, too, who we should actually talk to about this as well. Fair. Um, but I, I think it'll be. I, I guess the degree of interesting for me varies on like exactly when this is, uh, because it, it, I'm excited for just one for the same reason Spencer is for the disconnection from the Skywalker saga, but I'm interested because like there there's so many interesting nuggets and like pockets of lore like time periods, like you know the thought bomb bane there's Mandalorian wars there's like a bunch of stuff that happened between wherever this may be taking place and the present. Um, so I'm, I'm just interested to see like exactly when and where the setting is and like who we're being introduced to, or if it's all going to be original, um, which is something else they can entirely do too. But 
I'm very interested to see in an age before the the fall and all of that, like Jedi Prime Time, um, as well as seeing maybe some more in, uh, inclusion of like Vibro Steel and like Beskar probably was probably much 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 more available back then. I mean, it's always been rare, but like. So in short, you're excited for it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Interesting. I'm in the same boat. I, I think anything that's disconnected from the Skywalkers at this point has me really excited. I think this looks grittier, kind of following in the same vein as everything that we saw with the Mandalorian. And I think a lot of the Star Wars TV shows just in general have kind of adopted that filmmaking style, which I enjoy a lot. Oh, yeah. So hopefully that will continue. And, and to your point, I think, Spence, it was you that said it. If this if this trailer is anything close to what the entire series is going to be like, I think this is going to be a banger fucking season. I think it's going to be a green light to start a lot more projects in the Old Republic time frame. Which, in which case, all I want is Havoc Troopers. You, Give me <laughs> Havoc Troopers! You know what I want. Tell I, me what you want, what you really, really want. I really, really want... tell me what you want? I am. I really, really want a Jedi Knight or a Sith Knight in full plate Beskar. Oh, you want... Okay. Just fucking... You know, at some point in history, I'm sure that's happened. It has to have. Just... Yeah. It, I mean, even during the war, even if they just looted it. You just want to see, like, a Jedi-Sith war, like, full-scale. A full-scale yeah. war. What was that That cinematic where the Sith just, like, rammed a shuttle into the Jedi Temple? That was the, I would uh, love this. Knights of the Old Republic. Knights yeah. of the Old Republic. I would love to see that be made, like, live yeah. Like, dude, take that. Like, that is what we want. Yeah. Like, just that whole fight scene is what we want. Well, and yeah. that, that's the thing, too, is, like, even back in the day, it was like, yeah, the battles may be, like, a bunch of, like, lower-level talents, but that's still going to be fucking crazy. Like, we might not have people pulling Star Destroyers out of the sky anymore, but you will have, like, 50 guys doing doing flips, arc throw, like fucking force lightning throws, chokes, slams, throwing bits of rubble at each other. I mean, like, can we back even... to Knights of the Old Republic, real fast, back to Knights of the Old Republic, though. Just that scene where the two Sith show up in the docking bay and then yes. a Jedi and an apprentice show up and just that battle, like, that's what every fan wants. Yeah. Well, every I, fan. I, I think what fans really want, and they started doing it a little bit, believe it or not, with the Inquisitors, is they want the idea of a Sith behind any corner. The fact that one of these high tier, not disposable stormtrooper type enemies, who's a real threat to your heroes, could be around any corner because there's so fucking many of them. Like in Rogue One, where Vader, you just see his lightsaber turn on, and everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. But they want that fear everywhere. Yeah. They want it to feel like the Jedi aren't so powerful. that. Which, I think you're going to get a little bit of peace out of this. The last little call-out I had in regards to it, did you guys see the yellow lightsabers? Yeah, they I saw a lot of those, actually. A lot actually, of yellow yeah. lightsabers. Anyway, that's it. Leave your comments, in, uh, Sentinels, leave, your, leave right? your opinion in the, in the comments, guys. We cannot wait for the Acolyte to come out. I will absolutely be binge-watching the living shit out of it. And until next time, peace out.